Hello and welcome to the Underground. Today I'm going to show you how to restore defaults on a CEM Plus control processor, which is handy if you uh, are just swapping modules around. Let's say you have a spare and you need to get it configured for a touring rack, or if you uh, have another module that you're taking from one site to another and you just need to get to work with the system, or if somebody's been messing around with your system and suddenly you find things like your patch has been messed with here, like a squiggly mark one, where it means that it's no longer a straight sequence. All you have to do is start off by logging in, press the check mark button. Now you're going to make it threes all the way across. Just check mark. Once you're done, now you'll see the access level of power user. From here, you can go ahead and now go down to rack, press check mark. Press the up button until you get to delete all racks. This will just delete all the information within this rack. Press check mark, save changes, yes. Give it a few. All right, once it's done, it's gonna say no config R1 of zero, generate defaults. From here, you can go ahead and press check mark. And we're gonna go with, there's two options here. You have basic portable or full feature. Today, we're gonna to go full feature. Press check mark. Start out with group group number. If you have a multi-group system, this is where you'll change that number. We're going to keep it at one. Number of racks to add. This is where if you have multiple racks that are all going to be of the same type, you can change that here. Since we're just doing a single rack system, we're going to keep it as one. Input power, again, indicating whether or not you're in a European system or English system or US system. Go ahead and press check mark. We're going to keep it 120. Rack type, this is where you can select your different styles. You can even change it to a sensor portable. And uh, don't forget that the numbers themselves indicate what you have. So we're gonna go back, uh, meaning the number of modules you have in your rack. So we are gonna go back to an SR48. Press check mark. Set your first dimmer number. Patch address, it st uh, defaults to A. If you wanna enable any others, you'll have to do so once the rack is, uh, the defaults have been generated. Temp alarm, defaults 104, leave it there. Module type, we'll say D20, but here you can change it to whatever module you may have. So three phase balance, so at most uh, SR48 installations, they have three phases come on and balanced, meaning the number sequence goes one, two, seven, eight on the way down. If it is straight, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way down, you would change it to balanced or straight three phase. But today we'll keep go back and keep it as balanced three phase, press check mark. We're gonna leave advanced features off, but if you have D20 AF modules or AF modules, you can go ahead and turn that on. Press check mark, save changes, and away it'll go. From here, it'll take about another 15 to 30 seconds for it to update. So just stand by patiently there, or if you're working multiple racks, you can go ahead and move on to the next one. And once you're done, you're gonna see it here, rack 101, okay, and A1. From this point, you're good to go. Thank you for watching.